Hello, you are watching The Garden Corner Show. We are crazy passionate about almost everything gardening, almost because we don't know everything there is to know about gardening. I'm j Dog John Karsroom. I'm here with Mr. Dave and Mr. Trevor. How are you guys doing today? Awesome, doing awesome? Because we don't have any rain right now. So we're going to get this video in before it starts to come in. Hey, I want to get right into it because we've got a lot to talk about. Fruit trees. This is the fruit tree time of year. And I know some of you out there are thinking, gosh, it would be great in my garden to have a fruit tree. You know, you're, you're imagining, you're going outside, and thinking, oh, pick that apple and eat it, or, or a plum, or cherries, or apricots, or peaches. And well, that's a great, great idea. I just want to give you some things to think about when you're shopping for a fruit tree. So, for instance, now a fruit tree needs sunshine, by far sunny, sun, sun, sun. So if you get that, you have a spot in your garden that gets afternoon sun, that's where you want to put it. And you want to give it as much sun as possible. So all day sun is even better. So um, make sure you get that. Now, as far as... Was there a big crash back there? There's a big crash back there because while we're talking about planting fruit trees, we're actually cutting a tree over there. I'm hoping everything's going well because it's like there's a power line or something that happens. Well, we'll hear the yelling. Anyway, about fruit trees. Now, you're thinking you're going to put it there. Figure on a 12 to 15 foot radius. And fruit trees, uh, now, like say a, a, a cherry tree or an apple tree flower just like an ornamental um, flowering cherry does in the springtime. So they can be really quite showy. Though for the rest of the year, they're just pretty plain and um, just a regular plain looking tree. Nothing showy except for that bloom time. 12 to 15 foot radius. Keep in mind too that oftentimes on fruit trees, the big thing is you might need a pollinator. You know, a pollinator, the bee loves this little flower over here, jumps over and pollinates this flower over there, and that thus you get fruit. Um, so oftentimes you'll need a, pollin a pollinator, so another tree. So now that 12 to 15 foot radius, figure on another area as well for that pollinator to grow. Now, you can get away with having a pollinator in the neighbor's garden as well. So if you have, if they have another fruit tree around, that might do you. Now, the pollinators, there's usually a list of, of trees that pollinate. For instance, I have an apple tree right here. Golden Delicious is a very good pollinator for many, many different varieties. So sometimes you can get those trees. Um, and if it happens to be a variety that you like, you know, it can also be the uh, pollinator. Now, one more thing too is oftentimes there are four-way grafted trees. So for instance, you might have, say you wanted an apple tree, but you don't have room for the pollinator. Get one that has the pollinator grafted onto it. And usually those are the four-way. And it could be espaliered, uh, where, you know, they go like this and this or it could be just a regular fruit tree where one of these branches are grafted on there and that will be a different variety. So usually they come with little brightly colored tags. And one, one thing that you've got to know is keep those tags on there because next year when you go to prune the tree, you'll probably want to prune that off and you'll be pruning off one of your varieties. So keep that in mind. Another thing uh, before considering a fruit tree is, so we've got the sun, you got a sunny area, you might need a pollinator, but you could choose a four-way. And four-way, by the way, apples, cherries, uh, there's actually some peaches, uh, what else, pears, Asian pears, and there's also European pears, uh, cherry, plum, plums, I don't know if there's any um, four-way plums available currently right now, could be. Um, so. Consider the four ways, and there was something else I was going to uh, uh, mention. Oh, maintenance. Now, usually, 
Oh, one more thing is patience. Uh, we'll do maintenance, then patience. Maintenance, every year, generally you go through and prune the tree. And January is a great time uh, because you'll get lots of suckers. And the reason why we prune the tree is so we can maximize, get as much fruit as possible, and also that we don't want the tree to get really big so that your fruit is way, way up high. So that's one big thing. And that's also a reason why we have semi-dwarf and dwarf varieties is they keep them, uh, they're naturally a lot larger tree. This helps them slow it down a bit and then that way we can keep up by pruning. So one thing to consider is we do need to prune it every year and then also the patience. Now, right now I have a bare root tree and this is bare root season. And the neat thing about having a bare root tree is that it is less expensive. So say something like this might be 19.99. So uh, now consider about patience that uh, a fruit tree is a five-year process. So generally when you buy a bare root tree, it's actually on year two. So we've got three more years to go before we live our dream of picking apples and cherries and peaches and pears and what have you off of the tree. So you're going to need some patience. Now, on the other hand, some garden centers will grow on the tree much longer. So you'll be in year three, year four. I've sold Espalier trees <laughs> fully fruited. So, um, and also you can do them in a container as well, believe it or not. So just some tips, some pointers. This is a lot of talking, so, but I do want to make sure that it's very, very helpful to you before you consider a fruit tree. Next up, I am going to be pruning the tree, show you some tips on how to do that. But anyway, that's the show for the day. I do want, in the worst case, that you're not even considering a fruit tree and you're just using this video as a, um, as, um, cause you don't, cause you don't want to go back to work. Here's the quote of the day. Enjoy when you can and endure when you must. Thank you, Johann Wolfgang von Guth. That's the show for the day. Live your passion. See me right out of the sun.